Thank you so much, um, Mr. President. Uh, Mrs. Callas, uh, Mr. Borrell, uh, uh, I start in English. Um, uh, now I continue in English. Way that if I listen to our good colleagues from the Socialist Group and from the Renew Group, if they are calling for more military help to Ukraine, that's exactly what we have to do. I've heard some kind of arguments that if we help in a military way Ukraine, then the war will be bigger, it will be more chaos, it will be disaster in the world, it will be a third world war. But no, the sooner we end the war in Ukraine, the sooner the Russia will be back in their own territory, and the sooner those refugees who are really refugees today, women and children, are escaping from war zone to neighborhood countries, the sooner they can go back to their homes. I just read yesterday that our good colleagues from Poland, they are ready to help Ukraine with the fighter jets. That's what we have to do. And unfortunately, when I was reading our good colleagues from the US, now they are scared. They are not ready to really move those fighter jets through NATO bases to Ukraine. But every day, the Russians are just killing the ordinary people. They are killing the children. They are attacking hospitals. They are attacking like ordinary houses. And every day, what we are waiting for, with the help, the more the disaster will be. And if they will be succeed, Russians in Ukraine, then is the question, who is next? We have seen in the last three months... They're ambitious. We have seen what they have told. And their dream is to go back to the Soviet Union time. And unfortunately, well, I and also Ms. Kalas are from the country who's very close to Russia. And it's very easy to close Baltic states from the Western world. And that's why we have to stop the war as soon as possible and harmfully against Russians. Also, I would like to mention that we have to understand that there has been huge support from the Russian population to Putin. Look on the 2014, after the Crimean annexation. There was a huge support to go to Crimea and to occupy it. So that's why I wouldn't say that there is totally different parts of Russia, that there is Putin and Kremlin and there is ordinary people. That large part of the Russians are fortunately still supporting this aggressor. Look at the and I would like to conclude in Estonian. Um, uh, I'm addressing myself to Mrs. Kalas because I don't meet her very often. Um, NATO is an important ally for us, so there's no doubt about that. Um, but in order for the allies to be able to defend us, we must do our bit as well. Uh, political consensus in Estonia is that we must invest uh, uh, as uh, quickly as possible into national defense. We have to take a loan to do that. Um, uh, at, at the moment, we have the lowest foreign debt in the EU. Um, at the moment, there is war going on in our neighboring country. Uh, we, we must take this load, but there is only one uh, Estonian political party that is against it, and this is the Reform Party, your own party. You say that uh, uh, it will threaten the balance of the budget. Uh, today, we shouldn't speak about the balance of the budget. We should speak about investing in our defense capabilities. All other parties agree, even Social Democrats. Let's defend Ukraine, let's defend Europe, but also uh, Estonia.